Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Bulgaria. Let's continue on for the last stuff off. So, the invasion of uh, England's going pretty okay. I mean, we, we had one issue a little bit earlier, but it seems like everything more or less has begun to be resolved. Let's pull you guys to this army. Did any of our other troops... No, we're still waiting on some more divisions to just deal with Ecuador, because again, Ecuador apparently is some force to be reckoned with. This one militia troop, you basically are going to deal with taking over all this empty territory. Can't get the Scapa flow. That is technically its own uh, unique area. And when will you be able to attack? You're attacking 35 days. Okay. So it's like Newcastle should fall soon. Again, every landing that we do does make the next steps easier. Uh, having all of Ireland under control also does make things a little bit smoother as well. Got some more on side. Uh, again, I should have been training up these German troops way earlier than I actually was. Under, you're so, so, so close. They have 47 attack. I mean, our attack values are still bad. Naval penalty. They have a massive fort. A level 6 coastal fort's not great. But it's okay. I'm okay with as many casualties as it takes for this to work out in our favor. Which it should. I mean, we're not really even losing organiz uh, organization, even though, again, we did force attack, so that's one reason for that. Russia, you don't need to be attacking outwards. I can tell you that with certainty. You don't actually need to be doing that. Uh, so we got some more assigned divisions. I'm, I'm not going to worry about them right now. The United States are doing uh, some really strong work. I don't think the United States has a reason to, act, to attack um, us. I feel like we're far enough removed from that. Yes, yeah, so we got. We're going to do this naval invasion basically as soon as the opportunity arises. You know, assuming that we don't get the new castle first and then move uh, move our way to Hull, which also could uh, happen. No, if you're here, you're there. If you're here, you're there. The one militia troop can deal with everything else. We don't need two troops doing that though. That for you. You are going to take up these five provinces. There we go. So that should at least deal with the Scottish uh, situation. And Newcastle will be ours in just a moment. Please actually die and have nobody reinforce to you. You have no commanders. So you're okay. You're going to lose a lot more organization a lot faster. Beautiful. Uh, you guys are here. Quickly spread out because if you're not spread out. Then you get an encirclement penalty, which was uh, very bad, obviously. We're going to send blue up to here. Where are they now? Okay, so yeah, you guys go here. Again, just kind of spread out as much as you possibly can. Your name of Asian is going to be ready in uh, about 17 more days. I mean, there's six divisions on this army. I just don't know where the hell they are. I mean, I'm sure they're making their way over. I just don't know when it'll actually finish. Apparently, we also are missing a lot of uh, factories. So, you know, let's cut down military factories in half. Cut down mechanized equipment a little bit. Heavy tanks down a little bit. That should be good. Now, let's produce some uh, Wilt Creek Dreadnoughts. Apparently, our navy was actually extremely bad. Interwar uh, cruisers. That should be okay for now. And the blue army is on its way. Oh, you guys actually landed down here. Lovely. Um, where's the white army? White army, move here. If you can. Uh, blue army, you're going to move here if you can. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, delete the white plan there. And you're still fine. Yes. So, 
everything's looking pretty, pretty good. You're going to join this army. I'm just hoping that they don't... They might just send, um... Canada took one state. Australia has been annexed. I don't like the fact that Canada took a state. Uh, where did they take a state? That scares me a lot. They took some islands down here. I guess that's not that bad. It, it, it could be a lot worse. You're basically going to steamroll your way down to the south. It looks like the White Army actually is, is going to get there in time. The AI just did not take the port, which is lovely. But I think they're about to take the port in a second. Which is a shame. But what can you do? Don't even take... You know what? All of you just deploy. Just deploy to this line. All of you just deploy to this line. Do not land in that port. Just land here. I'm sorry, Russia. I can't help you out. At least not right now. Then you'll be ready to go another 10 days. But I don't think 10 days is really necessary. I think this... This should be the final episode, I imagine. Like... I don't think they'll be able to stop all of us. At the current rate things are going, it looks like things are going pretty, pretty smoothly. Yes, we got Fighter 3s. I guess that is an improvement. Um, unassigned Divisions, get assigned to Brown. We will update our Fighters to Fighter 3. I mean, this is looking pretty solid, if I do say so myself. Brown... Who else is still down here? It's Brown Army and Purple Army. Oh, were they part of the other purple? Well, let's figure out where they're supposed to be. You guys are here. So, basically, this guy... Uh, you... Are here. Just wherever that front line is. Do they have more boats here? They don't. So Brown should be able to attack Hull as soon as it uh, becomes available. And essentially just try to push everywhere at once. I mean, like, look how many men we have in, in uh, in this area. It's, it's looking pretty nice. Russia, you just stay here to defend that port, please. I mean, our reinforcements are going to arrive in just a second anyway, so I'm not too worried. Let's get some, not naval bombers, let's get some actual bombers, which we have not researched at all. I'm actually surprised they're actually holding out here. Why do we have, like, no value? Oh, they're, they're just extremely fortified down here, huh? Is that what the British have been doing? They've just been fortifying their entire country for a while? I mean, I know, I've heard this phrase, you know, Fortress Britain, but that's... It's a, it's a bit much. London does not want to fall. Okay, well... Assign all planes to White Army. And just help them in Southern, uh, Southern England. So we got three more days so you're ready to go. Okay, so keep on pushing. I mean, Hull... I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Because we're basically already almost there. You know, but it's just another point of entrance, right? Just in case we need to. Is Liverpool also extremely well defended? No, they don't have a fort there, so I'm actually not too sure what the big hang-up is.
Yeah, now we actually are just deploying too many German troops. Yeah, just delete all that. That's fine. We don't really need the men anymore. Ecuador is capa uh, capitulated. Beautiful. I thought they were part of the international. Did they, like, get out of there somehow? I'm not too sure. Okay, we have a friendly Ecuador. I guess that's nice. Uh, just deploy to... Where even is this front line? You don't have a front line. So... Just come up here, I guess. I mean, where else can you really go? Okay, so one of our princes has fallen ill. I mean, we tried to naval invade hall. We already got there before them, so... I mean, that works out pretty okay. So now it's, it's really just a sit back, watch as things go beautifully for us. You're going to move your troops all the way over there and just go for it, dude. Delete this plan. All of you just, like, deploy to wherever you feel like you need to be. Delete this plan. All of you go to here. And yeah, basically just send everybody to Europe. We have more factories and stuff, but, I, again, it's not actually needed. We, we, we're just going to sandwich them in. Who else are we at war with? Just let me just uh, double check. Technically, also a handful of countries in Africa, but... Like, do they really matter? Liberia... I mean, these guys all capitulate with the international anyways. How close is Britain to falling? They are at... Uh, 35%. So, I mean, that's looking pretty good. Apparently, the Russians landed in Iceland. I mean, I guess that's okay. I don't think it needed to really be there, but... You know, you do you. Also, like, I don't even want to fight... Most of the British army. Like, because we don't need to. Just, uh... Just beautiful. Ice is capitulated. Good on them, I guess. So, I mean, who else would he even attack? I mean, I guess Liberia is going to be the only country left in the international. Which is going to be a bit strange, but it is what it is. We actually took, we actually capitulated Britain without, I know this was Africa. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to guess to say the Russians probably did it because I definitely didn't. So I'll give it to Russia if I can find them in this freaking list. Here we go, Russia. You can just have that. Yeah, so London has fallen. At midnight tonight. Pass all of our turns once again. So, um, Britain is all ours. No question about that. I fought for this. Russia, you can take Iceland because you definitely did that. You can take uh, Ireland because you definitely did that. You took here. And turn. So, two Sicilies, I'm going to say you can probably have the rest of, like, eh, do, do, but I want to give you all of it. I mean, you definitely fought, uh, well. There is no doubt about that. I'll give you this territory, and then I'm going to give the rest to Austria. Whenever I can again find them in the list here. There they are. So you're like the only country left in the... No, you're just in no faction. Okay. Are we at war with you still? No, we're just at war with Mozambique and with Angola. Because of course we are. Like, I don't even want to fight you anymore. I don't think it's really necessary. Of course we're going to partition Brit uh, the British Isles. You're partitioned everybody, so you might as well continue on said trend. We have a million men now. And... 
I mean, again, you don't have any boats or anything, do you? Like, either of you? No. So, I mean, do the British already have naval superiority in the area? Is it the, or not the British, the Russians. They are more or less completely okay just to, uh... Navely invade. So, we're gonna send basically one army. You're going to at least garrison here for right now just to get the troops down there. Everyone else basically doesn't matter. Like, this is just cleaning up the final scraps. And where the hell my navy is, get them down here as well. Because you're going to have to delete all your old orders. And then you're going to have to basically protect these three regions. But still make your way down here. Thank you. I mean, the Russians probably might still um, get troops down there first. And I think most of Africa is actually like still fighting each other. Because they don't really fight well. I'm guessing, yeah, Russia is uh, releasing some countries. Oh, yeah, I also own this territory over here. You know what? Canada. You've been a good friend. Kind of. I mean, you haven't, I mean, you haven't really done much, but... Here you go. You can just have that back. Mostly because they look terrible. Australia, Japan. I mean... Things are looking pretty, pretty solid, I would say. Paraguay's capitulated. So, I mean, I think the United States has killed that faction, right? Like, there's no one left in that war. No, Argentina apparently is still alive. They have 50%. Have they not taken over? Yeah, they haven't taken Buenos Aires yet, so that's probably why. So, let's go for you. Again, you know, at this point, it doesn't actually matter what we choose. So we're going to leave basically a handful of troops here, a handful of troops are there, and that should resolve the issue. How long do you actually get here? You're Yeah, okay, now you're sailing. How long will that take? It'll take you... 25 days. I Why did you not sail from Britain down here? Why did you have to land through France, go all the way through it, and then sail across? I don't know. It seems a little bit strange to me that that would be their uh, first choice, but... It is what it is. Also, this is the same dude, but we're not wearing a hat in this one. So... Here we go. Unassigned divisions. Is that one of our tank divisions? Yeah, we actually built the tanks. What are we going to do with them? I have no idea. Basically, you will be our French occupational army. You know, while we're still at war, we might as well have some troops ready to go. Just in case. You are the English defense army. You will be the Scottish defense army. You will be the Spanish one. Spain and Portugal, you know, same difference. Did I give you orders up here? No, okay. I mean, they're almost there. They'll get there soon enough. They have formed the Italian Empire, but apparently also... What the... Who was this? Apparently, uh, I did not actually take all the territory. He just owns a mountain with Mark State. No, this give, give that to France. There we go. So apparently, transfer you. Yes. I mean, this actually shouldn't even belong to France. This should actually probably belong to um, Lusitania. Just because that makes you know, looks it makes more sense. Uh, so our troops still have not arrived yet. But, I mean, I think they're, what, are they just three days for one army stacks, like, to ship over? It's really not that big of a deal. Basically put all of our troops over here. They just kind of spread them out. Like, I don't know, like, what do you do with them at this point? Essentially nothing, I think. Like, I don't think we're going to go towards the Japanese. 
Like, I don't think they can really do anything anymore, so... You know, it's fine. Get our naval invasions ready. Uh, one for here. And then another one for back here. I don't think... We probably want to send, like, two divisions per... How long does two divisions take? It's going to take seven days. So, send you two over here. And that should more or less work itself out. Again, it's what, seven days? Not that long. We should be fine. So let's upgrade our tactical bombers. Let's upgrade our mechanized equipment. Let's research um, better night vision, I guess. Like, I don't... Upgrade marines. I mean, probably one of those a little bit earlier, but it's okay. Not gonna uh, stress about it too much. Oh no, the Russians actually land troops down here. Oh, that's that's actually very nice of them. Oh, but they did not take a port province, the idiots. So... That actually doesn't help us at all. So we at least know where the army is. We only have three divisions now. They've tripled their army size. They both they actually they both tripled their army size. Which is not great. Russia announces their ambitions. Oh yeah, because they've been at war for such a long time, they actually couldn't do anything. I completely forgot about that. That they literally couldn't really do a goddamn thing. I mean, they, most of Europe's already... I mean, what puppet states do you have? You have these guys as puppet states. I mean, our puppet states are definitely more impressive, but that's also because I've done more of the work. So, you know, what can you say? I'm trying to do some naval invasions. I mean, if Russia built a port here, that'd be nice. I may need to send more divisions over here. Like, sending a full 12 stack to go deal with that. I'm assuming probably this port is actually really defended. Probably has all their divisions on it. Who are, who's this got trained up? You did? I guess go here. Okay, so the Russian guy died. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, jeez. Oh, apparently, actually, South Africa is going to deal with the uh, Mozambique for us. That's okay. I mean, that's fine. No, that actually works out okay for us. I'm fine with them owning it. Like, it really does make a difference to me. How many troops do you have? 10 to 17 divisions. I mean, you should wipe them out pretty easily. Venezuela's looking for states. Brazil took 10 states. Okay. What if I, like, force attack you? Delete this plan. I can't add anybody while the attack's going on, I think. Even though I would like to. Just, like, we don't need to be in South America anymore. Apparently, Buenos Aires actually is going to hold out for a long time. They have 27 to 42 division. I think they're all in that one city. That's wild. That's too many men to have in one city. So let's go for Tactical Bombers level 2. Apparently I'm losing, which is not great. But I can't put them into a different army. Unfortunately. Yeah, let's go for another attack. I guess they're basically already prepared, so just do it again. Keep doing it over and over and over again. It's fine. I mean, you know, having Ecuador in the Russian alliance is a bit strange, but that's okay. So if you're you're trying to push your way towards the Caucasus, I'm assuming because you don't like Don Kuban, all of Europe is basically already under our and Russian control, so that's okay. Middle East... And then Far East, most of this I think is already dealt with as well, so that's okay. 
Oh, we took the, we took over the city. Fantastic. Uh, not you. So all of you are here. And I guess you're just going to push your way down to the south. I really don't know where else you can really effectively go. So let's do that, but like extremely aggressively. Just kind of go everywhere. Yeah, then South African can own all of Mozambique. That's okay. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, do you even have cores over this territory? Like, I don't even know. Oh, you do a claim. Okay. Do you have claims over the entire thing? No, you don't, but that's okay. Okay, go to New Lisbon. Is that like to be the only city they have left? Mozambique's almost dead. Angola is a little bit stronger, but that's okay. Apparently, we've lost 36,000 men. Russia, what have you done? Russia's lost 28,000 men to Angola. I'm guessing it's the one guy you got completely surrounded, which I guess isn't too surprising, but it's still, like, really bad. That's really, really shameful, I would say. New Lisbon should be ours soon. I, again, I don't think there is any... Do they have any other cities? No. Other than this one region. Yeah, and that, that should more or less uh, be the final nail in the coffin. It looks like the Russians... Actually, it looks like the Germans actually trying to land troops in the north. Again, they only have, what, four divisions? They have five divisions now. I mean, South Africa is actually surprisingly not doing as well as you would uh, maybe expect. Yeah, I mean, down here in Africa, it takes forever to walk anywhere. Which has kind of always been an issue, but, you know, what can you do? So, they pushed out. Okay, Mozambique is capitulated. Uh, just give it all to South Africa, because they're the ones who did all the work there. And then Angola should capitulate very, very soon. And that will be the end of our Bulgaria campaign. Once they actually f make their way down there. Which I'm sure is eventually going to happen, right? Like, it, it's got a... There we go. Why am I giving him... Like, it's only worth 66 points. It's not that crazy. Okay, so now we got a beautiful little Angola. Apparently also Russia gave the territory to them. I mean, that's nice of them. But with that done, the world now at peace. I think this is going to be a good time to end this series off. So thanks everyone for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, run thumbs up. If you're not enjoyed, close them down. If you want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.